and healthy. Oh, whoa, 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 careful. Oh, sheesh. Hey guys, Joel's here. We're starting something new. We're giving away one free coaching session every week. Watch until the end of the video to find out how. Enjoy the video. All right, so I've been playing Valorant on and off for roughly the past year with around 100 hours into the game. I've never played CSGO before, and my previous FPS experience is mainly COD on both PC and console. I really enjoy playing this game and want to become rank immortal one day. I do work a full-time job and average 40 to 50 hours a week, so I don't get to play as much as I would like. You think it's possible for me to become an immortal player while only being able to play roughly 6 to 8 hours a week? Yes, it would just take you a while. As of lately, I've been recording my games to analyze them afterwards to try and improve, but sometimes I'm having a hard time seeing what I did wrong. I'm hoping by getting some coaching... You'll see my biggest weaknesses that I need to improve so I can continue to climb the ranks, of course. All right, what's the buy here? So we bought four bullets and a trip, so you can go with this. I don't mind it. it. Looks like we have a little TP here, but we can't go aggressive with it. So it's a little not the best TP. It's here, it's here. Help. I mean, it's good, but if they come up cat, it's not good, right? So I guess it's going B. We can pull our shit and rotate. Sure, looking good so far. So we're clearing angles they can't, they can't be, right? Because our teammates are... We'll look at the minimap more. We need to be looking way more at the minimap here. Swing, swing, swing. Yes. Lane one. One bullet. Sheesh. So our crosshair placement in general is too low. We are aiming at the nuts. We should always have head level crosshair placement. One enemy remaining. Spike down A. Weapon here. Peaks are good though. Peaks are good. I do like the way you peek. I need to decide between the Vandal and the Phantom. Honestly, pretty okay. arbitrary. I, I don't like this. Man. I don't like that trip. You can play off of the trip, but you're gonna swing some multiple people. Okay, we can play around the TP. I, like, I actually don't mind that. Yeah, I don't I don't mind that. I like this play. Good. Good use of TP. Good calm. Uh, ADSing. We do not do this. Let's not ADS. There's an argument to use it with the Chamber Sheriff, but definitely not with a Vandal. So the argument might just be like, but Joel's EA uses it all the time and he's a pro player. Okay, it's EA. Uh, the short game yeah, yeah. here is you bestie. <laughs> hey, you guys. Bye. I love the jiggling for, for angles. On angles, this is good. You jiggling is good, okay. Holding, case of lurk. Okay. Or ma what's the other one? There's like a different one. Nice. Last player standing. One enemy nice. remaining. Nice. 1v1. One one. Peaks are good, actually. Teleport's ready. Good clears. One around behind you. We don't know that, but probably. Oh, that was scary. The TP was scary because I actually thought she was already lane. So one main. Nice. I love the way that we're not reloading. We need to... So, so... Okay. Our peaks are good, but also... There has to be a case where we also need to be taking space as well. So, okay, I, I see the problem. I see the problem. You're worried too much about how you're peeking an angle, which is really good to do, but um, you're on the other side of the extreme. So there's two sides of the extreme, right? You have one side where you are peeking very poorly and you're holding W and you're trying to take too much space without clearing stuff uh, properly. And then you have the other extreme where you are peeking properly, but you're only using your shave keys and you're not taking enough space. So there needs to be a little bit of a middle ground where you're actually taking space and pushing in with your team. In this case, our teammates are funneling into site. We are not there to trade them. We need to be pushing in and getting ready to trade them a little bit better. Do you swear? Me? Swearing? I would never. All right, we ended up winning the round, but you see how there was a possibility of losing that 1v1? Oh. I, I like the idea not to commit on the first shots and then commit on the second one. I actually thought you handled that good. So let's see what you said here. I feel like I improved my crosshair placement here and I win this gunfight. Yes, the crosshair placement here was the issue, but how you handled the gunfight was good, actually. I like the idea to not commit on the first burst and reposition instead. 
Deploying drone. Uh, where are we going? We're drone through A, but we're going B. Okay, we need to be looking at the minimap and seeing like what the plan is, right? So we gotta be looking at the minimap and seeing what the plan is. Two of our teammates decided to rotate through market, through mid slash market, and we are still on cat. Either calm, we're pushing cat, or fall off and go with our teammates. Stop, pause the video right now and go subscribe. Thanks. Keeps me healthy, keeps my mind healthy. Oh, whoa, 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 careful. Oh! Standing ahead. Sheesh. Flick of the sentry chamber, they say. That's where you type in chat, no. I do it all the time. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Top, top of the right, top of the right, you hear him. Oh! Your aim is actually pretty cold. Heaven, heaven, heaven. Yeah, bomb, careful. Hello, hello, hello. Pick up, pick up a Vandal. Vandal right under you. Did we notice that we picked it up? We don't even notice. I think we tunnel vision sometimes without looking at our surroundings and mini map. I'm a Vandal. Dude, aim is really good though. Your aim is very good. For silver, wow, this is an insane aim. What are we doing right now, coaching? What's up, Joel's? How's the stream going? The stream's going good. Oh, we get timing. Tell hard there. I realize now that I died from B links, since my team was already pushed up mid, I feel like I should have watched this angle instead of looking up mid. I mean, you're kind of like scaling up mid. It's actually not bad to do this. So it's more important to do the scale as a team rather than watching certain angles. Anytime our team is scaling on attack side, we should be scaling with them. The idea is that your team should all be working together to get into A site or B site. Splitting up is usually never the play. KJ hit 130. Blocking site. So we should be smoking, smoke for dead. Unlucky. I felt pressure by my team to push on a site, which is why I pushed out of the smoke. So normally pushing out of the smoke isn't bad, but the problem is that we don't have smokes. So we should be doing more of like a split action, like mid uh, B main, and then doing something like that rather than just like full on hard hitting as a five into site. Now the idea to go B as a whole is good, but we should probably be splitting it up, right? You will not kill my ally. Joel's question, what's up? Uh. Lullaby, token you on your oh, alibi. Sheesh! We're feeling it, we're feeling it. Your teammate needs to do something. Could be lane again. Oh, no, no, breaking. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Clean round, dude. Nice job. Aim is actually very, very good. Crispy aim for a silver player, might I add. What should you practice? Scaling on attack side with our teammates and trying to trade them out. It's super important. That also goes for defense side as well when retaking. Communicating where we plan on going as a team on attack side is important too. Having everyone spread out and lurk with no purpose isn't going to win us rounds. Guys, 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 free coaching every week. Join the Discord in the description box below. If you want to try out other coaches, go to coaching.joelcv.com or click the link in the description below they're all ready players, they're great people, and I personally vouch for them myself. Good luck climbing.